Hello, this is Bern, and if you're interested in creating a lasting and a fulfilling relationship with a man, and you've not been able to do that, on today's episode, I'm going to share with you why that is the case and what you can do starting today to change this and get exactly what you want. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart centered, and successful women how you can create the relationship of your dreams and attract the kind of man you want without the need for crazy tricks or gimmicks, and as a direct result of stepping into the most alive, the most feminine version of you. Now, I get lots of messages and lots of requests for help from women who have gone from relationship to relationship that's painful to very painful to ultimately painful and not being able to create a lasting, fulfilling relationship with someone. And one of the biggest problems that I find in not just women, men as well, when, who are not able to create that lasting fulfillment is that fulfillment in a relationship, deep joy, is one of those things that doesn't happen when you search for it. And here's what I mean. If your highest subconscious goal for stepping into a relationship is you want to feel ultimately fulfilled through the relationship, the way you communicate with the person, the way you give into the relationship, the questions you ask are going to be very, very different than if you have higher virtues in mind for stepping into a relationship. Let me give you an example to contrast this. If the goal for you to step into a relationship is because you want to step into contribution, because you want to grow. So growth is one of the highest virtues you go into, because you want to uh, step into sacrifice, friendship, devotion, uh, generosity of spirit, because you want to create the kind of excitement in another human being that is far surpassing of their expectations. That's step one. And two, you connect with men who have a similar ethical backbone and also want that kind of relationship, then that's a magical relationship through which you can, as a byproduct of your stance, create lasting fulfillment. But if you go for fulfillment first, then you can go into this me, me, me type scenario where it's about your needs and your fulfillment and your feelings exclusively. And that puts you in a position of giving far less than you need to give and looking at the relationship as a means to suck life out of the other person. Now, am I saying that you should be somebody's doormat and that you shouldn't care about your own feelings? That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying that you need to go for the highest expression of who you are and say no to anyone who's not willing to step into a relationship the same way. I mean, like, look at what is happening right now in the world. A lot of human beings, I'm not saying all, but many human beings are going for, let's say, open relationships as a result of saying, you know what, I, I can't get as, I can't feel as much with one person. I'm getting a little bored. So let's add a little spice by me opening up to somebody else. I'm not saying that that's the gist of all open relationships, but I'm saying that's the gist of a great majority of them work. Why? Because it's a lot easier to say, uh, I'm bored with you. So let me just create a little bit more excitement with somebody new, fresh, who doesn't know me, doesn't know my bad habits, who, uh, that I can just like, feel a little bit of excitement with. And then when that's starting a little stale, instead of showing up more, instead of changing the fundamental way I show up or changing the goal from just uh, meeting my own needs to expressing more, then I'm going to go to the next person and then have maybe three, four open relationships, right? That's part. I mean, I see that as a symptom of not being able to say, I'm going to transcend my own limitations and my own needs and go into what both of us want and create something deeper than him or I. And it's like the relationship becomes an additional entity that creates fulfillment, not just in your lives, but in lives of those around you. Think about it this way. If you want to create a more fulfilling relationship and the, the primary subconscious question you have been going for, if you're really honest with yourself is how can I feel more of my needs? I urge you to reconsider and shift the equation and say, how can I show up as the highest version of me, contribute, be, give, and say no to guys who just want to connect and get life out of me, but connect with guys who want to give more. Am I saying that's going to be the majority of guys? No, 
but there will be guys who want to step into the le same level of contribution that you're stepping into and that will be a magical relationship that stands the test of time where you can experience fulfillment unlike you've ever imagined. Hope this is helpful, useful, insightful to you in some way. If it is, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the first link on the description of this video, you'll find a way to go deeper on these concepts and, and go through a masterclass I created. So you enter your name and email and you'll be able to go through this masterclass I created that's free. Now, if you're saying to yourself, Bern, I love what you're sharing with me right now, I have zero time to waste attempting to rediscover fire. I don't have the next five years to 10 to figure it out on my own. I want your hand holding and help and accountability and truth telling in the process of getting what I want. Then the second link on the description of this video will allow you to apply to work with me. You fill up the application. If I feel I can help you, my assistant will reach out and set up a, a time for us to connect. Thank you so much for connecting with me. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.